hear a story, fam? Okay. So, so I was eating dinner, right, with my cousins. Yeah. We were all eating upstairs, right? And then, for some reason, my, my cousin, she was, like, looking out the window. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why, why is she looking out the window? And also she goes, yo, yo, this is Squirrel, right? Yeah. Like, squirrel, why is, so, so, why is she so excited about a squirrel? Yeah, yeah. I go over to the window. Fam. It's the biggest fucking raccoon Word. standing on the fence. This shit with the size of like a luggage, bro. <laughs> now that ass is the biggest fucking raccoon, right? Yeah. And they're like, yo, how do you mix it up with a squirrel, bro? What the heck? Wait, she's from here though, right? She's from here. Okay, I was like, okay, if she was from the Philippines, I understand if, if she got it wrong, but nah, that's weird. There, there was a there was a raccoon. There's a raccoon story. Yeah, well, yeah I'm talking about, yeah, raccoon. I'm, now I'm getting it confused. <laughs> There's a raccoon uh, like video on the internet yeah. where a guy has is in the garbage can, right? And he's trying to get a raccoon out mm-hmm. and the raccoon's on on like the side of the the thing already planted because he has a stick up to it yeah right? and then the guy tries to grab it and lets go of the stick and he go and the raccoon goes like <laughs> and, and like as soon as the filmer he runs away <laughs> this guy leaves his friend it, it's it's funny because you see like they have hands yeah it, whenever an animal has hands like that it's just so weird just like yeah. like monkeys bro Lo- looking monkeys when they pick up stuff it's so like i know it's like so cartoonish fam a lie it's so cartoonish like it literally looks like us but it's not us, it's you know? It's not us, yeah. It's but whenever, weird. whenever I think of animals and like like cartoonish, mm-hmm. Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge. Movie, yeah. I don't like Over the Hedge that much. That's a go to movie. I can go back to that any day. It was all right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but besides Over the Hedge, I think yeah. I think one of the greatest animated films ever. Ratatouille? No, 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 no. Featuring animals. Uh-huh. This animal? shit, this oh. shit should have won an Oscar fam. Lion King, right? No. What? Open season. <laughs> I haven't watched that. You haven't watched Open Season? What's Open Season? The one with the big bear and then like the deer? You never watched That's it like that? That's crazy. No, I haven't. That that shit would should have won an Oscar fam. Word. That shit okay. is actually good. Well, I might have to tap into my childhood and watch <laughs> it back. Cause I, I think I think that movie, it was just like a it, it's one of those random movies or where it's like it's outside of the box, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's outside of the box. Cause so so many so many of the, the, the animated movies is all the same, bro. Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, we want food and let, let's let's go back without people trying to find us. Yeah, yeah. Did you watch a uh, Hoodwink? No, what's that? It's like um I think that one was a little bit more adult. It's yeah. a little bit more adult themed. But speaking of animals, fam, you've seen that now they're they're mixing different DNAs of animals. Yeah. So there was this one um turtle mm-hmm. combined with a rat. What the fuck? So so they took <laughs> DNA from a shellless turtle yeah, yeah. and combined it with DNA of a rat. A shellless turtle? Yeah. And they fertilized the eggs and in five months it came out. You want to see it? Like you can search it up. It's so disgusting, fam. It's real? Yes. They actually Let did it. Oh my, just search up turtle rat. <laughs> turtle rat? What the fuck? Fam, it's a fat rat with like a turtle shaped body. Ew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fam. Ew, it, it looks like an armadillo. Look. This shit? <laughs> yeah, bro. Ew, I'm what the I'll put it on screen. And there's also a they combine pig with a human. And that one is gross. Nah, that's no way that's that real. That one is gross. No, Search a pig human. No way that's real. That that shit's fake. Trust me, fam. I seen the videos. Ew. Yeah, no, it's not. Oh, yeah. That's not that's, real, it fam. It is, it is. There's video. No, it's not. That that's all. Oh wait, no, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. There's another one where they there was a bunch of pigs and a small one. They t- picked it up, showed the the, the face of the camera. It had this a, shit, that's not real, fam. That's no, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. This there's a, there's a lot of pigs. You have to show me which okay, one. Yeah, no, that, that wasn't the one. But it had a pig's body and like the face was hu- was human esque. How how do they make that shit? Okay, do you do you think there is there is like real creatures like that? Cause oh yeah, hundred percent. Cause the original dog was a wolf, right? Yeah. And then over the centuries, how did it end up with a fucking chihuahua? I don't know. Maybe it just shaved all his hair off. <laughs> and that was it. That's the evolution. It went from really hairy from a wolverine to a dog, and then to to yeah. what it is now. Do you think there's gonna be like other types of humans? Do you think do you think we can we can? I don't know how to explain it, but like, do you think there's gonna be humans that can have like more arms there's humans that can have like different like scales on their body and shit have you heard of the niguna what's a niguna oh it's called the ninjin what's a ninjin yeah so it's like this japanese um aquatic human creature where it it has no arms but only two feet and they've seen it walking around on like icebergs that's it's like a it's like a freaking like bigfoot (laughs) yeah it's like bigfoot except no arms and like the, there's like the the urban legend where sailors yeah. they went out and they did like this um, whale research yeah. and they saw it on accident. It's twenty to thirty meters long and has a face. A whale that has a face? Yeah, <laughs> that can walk. That has two legs. A whale? Yeah, like a whale shape. It's fam. It's twenty to thirty meters long. What the hell? Yeah, that's that's weird, bro. I know. No, because we we don't know what's in the ocean, fam. There could be some like huge titan. Yeah. Because you hear those stories of like the kraken and the giant squids and shit. Moby oh my Dick. God. Yeah. <laughs> Moby Dick. Okay. There's a theory though that the story Moby Dick. Yeah. It was actually the the name itself. Yeah, Moby. Dick. <laughs> oh wait. The name itself, fam. So, so what's the theory. So. The theory is mm-hmm. that 
when the pirates or when the ship captains are out on sea, right? Yeah, yeah. They struggle with a lot of sexual tension, feel me? Yeah. Because they don't have no girls on the ship. Oh my god. They're gosh, traveling for the whale? <laughs> no way. No, no, no. That's not what happened. That's not okay. what happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but pretty much what it was was Moby Dick was like he was trying to fight this whale. Or he was trying to kill this whale. Yeah. So when you're out on sea all like for months on end, he's trying to struggle <laughs> with his sexual frustrations, right? <laughs> so so Where Moby is Dick is actually like- Double entendre? Yeah, it's like a double entendre for, that for, for it being his dick and struggling with masturbation out on oh, sea. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. That's no, but it makes sense. It makes sense when you're out on sea like yeah, that. Yeah, what can you do, fam? There's nothing to do. That's that is just like jail. Yeah, it's like jail, and that's yeah. why a man's in jail. Like, fam, I seen I seen documents. Dog, no, no, no. I've seen this crazy shit in jail. So they they would have like posters of girls, right? Yeah. And those posters of, of girls are like currency. So oh. like that poster of like Jessica Alba, yeah, is like twenty dollars worth. Really? Right? And they would trade it around. And there's this guy yeah. that made like a pillow into like a girl like he shaped it into a girl Whoa. with hair and shit and then he was like yo like the new inmate was like yo what's that for he's like what do you think dumbass whoa what the heck <laughs> nah cause crazy. desperate times is actually nah, desperate really? measures bro <laughs> <laughs> real shit nah I remember seeing this okay, this, this is a little bit like don't search this up yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that, that's everyone's gonna search this up now <laughs> nah cause I remember watching this like you know those prison crafts videos yeah oh yeah yeah bro so they took this glove right oh yeah I seen this too <laughs> you know what I'm talking I seen this too fam we're on the same timing <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they made like a flashlight with a glove. Yeah, yeah. They blew it up and then they made it like like this, like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause they turned it into um you know balloon animals? Yes, fam. Someone was crafty enough to make a balloon <laughs> animal into like <laughs> No lie, in jail it brings out your creative side. Cause like you have nothing to work with. Mm -hmm. But the shit that they be making there, like the fucking cakes made out of just like sugar and mm, things. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's really creative. Or like the brick. You, you yeah, heard of the yeah, brick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, chips, like ramen, whatever's yeah. around, yeah. crumbs, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, there there's a funny like saying it was like you guys can do everything in jail except get out or some shit like that. <laughs> Yo, that's facts though. It's fucked up, but it's facts. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if you really want like a phone or something, you can actually get one. Oh, but where? you just have to pay a lot of money. Cause that's why we see those TikToks. Yeah. I don't know if you're on jail TikTok, cause I am. Okay, I'm on jail TikTok like crazy. <laughs> There's bare videos of people just with their phones. I'm like, how do they get their phones, right? right. So I looked into it. Yeah. You can actually get a phone. You just have to pay like the warden. Or pay like the guards like hella money. Yeah, you can yeah. honestly get whatever you want. Word, that's yeah. crazy. As long as it's not like a danger to everybody else. It's everyone else. Like you're not gonna get a knife in there and shit. Yeah. But who knows, bro? Like what if what if there are some people that do get the like if they're on death row? Yeah, fam. Or on death row, my bad. Uh -huh. If they're on death row and they have nothing else to lose, <laughs> they're just I gonna know. get like a knife in there. No, uh, but I've safe. seen I've seen those I guess why that's the reasoning why I see like jail people on TikTok. Like they'll go live. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we're in jail and shit like that. And we're just going on live. They're just bored, bro. Yeah. They're just bored, fam. You ever, you ever had those days when in summer, like there's really nothing to do? Do you think when you have so much vacation time, mm -hmm. there's a point where vacation becomes boring? Yeah. Fam, during the winter breaks in between Sam's, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who are like, okay, I'm gonna just clean my room, get everything settled. Yeah. And then I have nothing to do now. Mm -hmm. Like there's no homework, no thing. That's why I feel like school is kind of sick because there's always something to do. It keeps you busy. School? Yeah, school. Okay, for me, I never liked school though. Yeah. Because I never liked doing assignments unless it was something fun, like creative. Because yeah. I never liked the fact of we have to we have to do exactly what the teacher says mm -hmm. and there's only one right answer so yeah. the classes i really love were more of like the english yeah, yeah. or like the r whatever it may be oh, like I. comtech yeah comtech was fun that's why i hated math so much because there's only one answer no but i feel like i feel like people don't like math just because they're not good at it but mm. the people that are really good are really interested yeah but i feel like that goes with everything right? how the hell do you become interested in math though y'all gotta tell me if you're really into math tell me how because i was just like as a kid my parents always did like multiplication tables and made it fun like Oh, let's do these apples. You feel me? Cause, cause, okay, math to me is a big worksheet. This is what this is what school taught me. Math yeah. is a big worksheet. You have to go through all of these questions, yeah, yeah. write it out. Boom. Next sentence. Okay, you're done. Do the next no, one. No, but to Boom, me, next one. To me, I was like, 
because I'm Asian, yeah. I'm like, I, I took that in personally. So I should be able to do that. And it was fun for me because other people couldn't do it, but I could do it really quick. Wait. That's why I would study and study so I can do it way quicker than everyone else. Yeah? Yeah, that's, that's, that's how I took it. That's an interesting take. Because for me, it was just like, why am I even doing this? I don't I don't take anything yeah. from it. Besides, besides, I guess, the knowledge of how to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, what am I going to use it for? Because <laughs> at, least, at least in like history class, I yeah. learned about the... Ink, the ancient Egyptians, whatever yeah. it may be at the time. Yeah. And I can take that with me and then just like talk about it and shit. Yeah. Like, yo, what do you, what do you guys think about Sir Patrick Banyan? Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know nothing about that. I just know how to do five times seven really quick. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but back to the, the jail shit. Cause yeah. I want to tell something. There's this, this girl on TikTok that go, the, recently went viral. Mm -hmm. Cause she has a jail pen pal mate. What? Where she, yeah. she would call and they would be like, Oh, I love you so much. And shit like that. And we, mm. their whole relationship is on TikTok. Word. And she has to pay like a dollar every hour. Or some shit is like it illegal that. to do that or not? I don't know. Oh shit! Maybe I just <laughs> sorry for that girl. I, you guys are having a great relationship. I don't want to ruin everything else. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I I seen um even Kodak. You know how Kodak was in jail? Oh yeah. yeah. And then during his concert, somebody wrote in the a letter. yeah he's like. This guy wrote to me in jail. Yeah. Right? And what's crazy, I'm thinking, man, what if we can reach out to people and can we just reach out to them? Like we celebrities in jail? Yeah. Who's in jail right now? Bush Eisty. He's in jail. Um, Kodak's in jail again. I want to write, if I could write anyone in, in jail, it would be TK. TK? Because I would be like, yo, how's it been? <laughs> Are you are you ever getting out, man? Because the the streets need you, man. Yeah, like, I love TK too, but, yeah, but I love he, his music. Yeah, I love his music, but, but not that, necessarily him as a person. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, YNW Melly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, feel me? Like these, they really murdered people. Yeah, but we don't. We like. But at the turn same our heads, yeah, you know what I mean? At the same time, all the comments, free Melly, free TK. It's crazy. Yeah. But the moment they say something about something else, it's about something else. Yeah. Cancelable content. That's when they get canceled, but not about the violence. Yeah. Yo, and then there's another theory. There's a theory about the baby actually. Okay. Uh, uh, Dino put me on this actually. Yeah, he, yeah. he told me this. In the babies, I think the song with Lil Wayne. He said this verse. The I'm newest read one. It to the you. newest one. Yeah, the one with Lil Wayne. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's a theory. Yeah. That the baby, him killing somebody in Walmart. Yeah. Was actually all a marketing ploy, and he framed it. What? How? How? <laughs> There's a lyric? So oh, no. in the in the recent The Baby track with Lil Wayne, yeah. he says this. The first verse he says, yeah. I've been having mood swings like a Gemini. I can use the murder for therapy, right? Okay. I can make the news with it, break the internet, and have them all nervous and scared of me. Then get away sneaky clean, never seen a thing. What the heck? So he just snitched on himself. If people really dug into it. Now somebody there's a there's a huge conspiracy on Twitter. Somebody that knew the kid that got killed. Uh-huh. Supposedly the baby just made it seem as if it was self-defense, but it wasn't. And he did it on purpose so that he can get publicity for it. What? That's crazy. Because if you think about it, that's a huge headline. You know yeah. what I mean? A yeah. rapper kills somebody in Walmart and gets away someone? with it. Yeah. Because there's been other stories of him. Did you remember there was a guy that followed him into like a Gucci store? Yeah. And then he was recording. He's like, the baby, you're not going to do shit. Was that, do you think that was a plot too? I don't know. Because why would a guy record him so like, eagerly like yo let me get a response from you mm. right and then the, this is what the baby did he he beat him up and then he took remember he pulled his pants down and and he was like oh yo look at what i did to your favorite to your boy and ran oh, away shit. but loki now that i'm thinking back and hearing that story yeah what if that shit was all the plot because look carpet burn he used the exact same plot as, mm -hmm. as of that um story to direct his music video so that was the whole thing where yeah. so maybe he used that as as um what do you call this publicity and now he made fun of it in the song mm -hmm. just so people they could get more views maybe because there's so many things that that even just rappers do yeah. even just like wearing a dress something crazy like that oh yeah, yeah. yo there's a crazy conspiracy fam okay that one of the one of the rituals or kind of next levels to take mm -hmm. if you want to join the illuminati yeah. is embarrassing yourself and one of the things you can do to complete the ritual yeah. is to wear a dress. It's a it's a way of like embarrassment. Oh shit! So they so that's why you see a lot of celebrities. Young Thug, Harry Styles. Young Thug, Harry Styles. Look at all yeah. these people like Kurt Cobain, mm -hmm. Kid Cudi. Kid Cudi was next. Yeah. yeah. So it's either, bro. This is like the Illuminati fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll make you do it so that you can join them or go on to the next level and get the other riches. And if you if you 
deny it, mm -hmm. then they'll cancel you or do something to you. So that's why they're saying even Tory Lanez, yeah. when um, supposedly he want he wanted to go independent. Remember that? You yeah, heard yeah. about that? Yeah. When Tory Lanez wanted to go independent, the conspiracy mm -hmm. is that the elites, mm -hmm. they didn't like it. So what they did, they framed him by putting him with Meg Thee Stallion. That's where you had that whole controversy of him shooting her, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But do you think that was true? Do you think that was real or fake? Because <laughs> did, did he really get away with shooting her? Because he- And why would he? He's not going to jail, right? He's not going to jail. So that's weird. That's weird that why why was that whole thing Where did that come from? Yeah. Why would he just randomly shoot Meg in the in the, the foot? I don't know, bro. Why in the foot too? I don't know. That's that's why it's weird. Yeah, cause cause a foot you're not gonna die from. Cause what's crazy is look, we'll we'll hear the story, but we don't know the true story. Yeah. Cause we can hear the headlines, we can hear the, the reports on it. Yeah. But we don't know exactly what happened. Maybe some things were left out. I mean, what if, what if he had something else and then a better out for him was that choice. Mm -hmm. So let's say they had something else on him that was way worse, but like, okay, you can just shoot her in the foot and you can, and then and that, you can take that L instead. Punishment. You can take that L instead of a different L. What the heck? Because I think when you get into, I guess, mainstream media like that and you become an image of such attention, yeah. there's some people that want to manipulate that because that's a very powerful thing. Hey man, you're getting up there in the influence game, so hell no. <laughs> we'll see. Nah. No, but I don't think like if, if a person gets big, you think how do you think it happens? Like boom, they're like, okay, this guy's getting really big. I bet let's uh throw throw something uh, in the club. No, but what if what if it's like? Cause look, did you know like most record labels are all under the same umbrella? Yeah. Even even like um It's TV. only like three. There's only like three yeah. big ones and even they're all under. All the big media companies. Yeah. They're all under like Disney, ABC, something else. Mm -hmm. NBC, something, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. But like the three big ones and then it branches off into all these little small ones. Yeah. Just like, did you know in Canada, all of our cell phone plans and shit? All of the other service provider. Who are you with? Kudo. You with Kudo, right? Yeah. Kudo, there's Freedom, whatever. Freedom, yeah. Did you know all of these smaller branches? Mm -hmm. They're all just offshoots of Rogers and Bell. I knew that. You knew that? Because in my business class, I seen there was one... Um, of food stores yeah and there there's a whole diagram of the bottom and then to the top but at the top the very very top there's only like two and they run all these it branches down Word. food yeah. stores yeah food stores like costco walmart but they're ran by something else yeah and they're ran by that one person when you have a monopoly yeah. on the market that's when you make the most money and you can control life fam low key yeah. you can control life yeah. especially in media yo that's evil that's evil makes you can plant whatever you want bro and it sucks because it's not like it's a democracy mm -hmm. it's just whoever makes it's it to the top makes, is at yeah. the top yeah. and no way a peasant is going to make it to the king you know what I mean, like, how do you? What are the steps made to go up there? Or you just go against all? No, because if you can go against all the odds, then they're just gonna kill you. Because remember, do, do you see that um that video of the the? I think it was homeless. I don't know, but she was preaching everything. She was like, blah blah blah. This is that the Illuminati. There's three. There's three tiers. Yeah. And, stuff, and people just thought they were. She was crazy. Word. But maybe the home up uh, the homeless person may know something that we don't. Because she was once at the top. Because yeah, we don't know. Maybe maybe she's like an agent that works for them. Yeah, knows? exactly, exactly. If you were the Illuminati <laughs> and you wanted to plan an assassination on someone, how would you do it? What the f what kind of question is that, bro? What is this? <laughs> You wanted to go in some <laughs> next topic, bro. We went from jail to-, to I'm not no Illuminati, bro. Chill out. I'm a believer of God and Jesus. Stop, bro. And the Holy Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play with any devil work. Oh, my. But you gamble, so that's not- I don't gamble. Yeah, you do. I honestly don't gamble. You gamble way more than me. <laughs> you, you, it, it, feel, it feels like you're trying to tell me I gamble, but trying to tell you it to yourself, bro. <laughs> remember, the first time, remember the first time we were at the casino? Yeah. And we were, I was like, yo, I'm actually scared. Like, I'm only putting $5 in, mm -hmm. right? Because I, I, I don't want to get addicted to- You've been there like five times in the past week bro i swear but like i haven't lost though i've only come out with <laughs> I've, I've come out with money every single time but okay. it's smart gambling it's not the let me throw 200 on something it's like okay let me let me make some money in my opinion i'd rather gamble with like stocks or some shit where i know where i know i can just leave it and then i can just look back i don't know it's fun it's for always for the experience but <laughs> And, you and, sound like a real like freaking gambler now. And in the third episode, I think when I had the black hoodie on, you were like, "Yo, let's go to the casino when we're twenty one." No, like, I want I want to play uh I want to play Texas Hold'em though. I want to play poker. Oh, the poker? Yeah, poker. Because I feel like I fuck people. Yeah, poker. P poker is too much thinking though. I, I yeah, just, like, it, it I, is hella thinking. Yeah, I just like red, red, black. I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, because poker is like looking into the soul, fam. Like yeah. I can see your whole life story through you, and I, I feel like I'll be able to tell if somebody's lying or not. There's a there's a guy that they they were playing in like a big tournament. Mm -hmm. 
and some guy had him. Like yeah. he, he bluffed him to the, the point where his thing, right? He could have went all in, but they were having a 20 minute conversation of like, come on, man, I know you have aces. Just please let me go. And he was yeah. like, I like you. I like you. So he didn't put all in and he just put a bit. Word. So he could save him. If that was me, fam, I would be out. You're done for. I'm going all in. Like, damn. That's like Squid Game killing or not killing, bro. I'm killing you. Yeah, no, you know? that's what it is, bro. Yeah. Cause like, at, at some point you want to have mercy and be like, yo, bro. Yeah, yeah, relax. obviously, yeah. Right? <laughs> but if it's a big pot like that, like 37 Ks on the line. I guess, no, but when you're in that competition, anything goes, bro. Yeah, like, that's what if, I'm if, if you If you sat at that table with me, yeah. then you're here to lose, feel me? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not taking anything but but a win. That's why if, if mind control inventions were actually real and yeah. you brought it to a poker table and you can see everything that, that they were thinking, oh man, you're cashing out. You know, I looked into some of the the cheating tricks they do in poker. Oh yeah. They ha you used to have like machine, you know, aces up your sleeve. Yeah. You know that term? Okay. I know the term that means like you just have two aces and that's always usually a win. Yeah. 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 So what they used to do, they used to have this like contraption they made with uh, a drawer. Okay. You know, the, those drawers with the brackets that, that slide out. Yeah, yeah. So what they'd have is like kind of a bracket that would push the cards up when you just flick your wrist. No. Yeah. And they would have like better cards than that. Yeah. They have aces up their sleeve. What? Up. what the yeah. heck? It's all sleight of hand, bro. Because yeah. if you think about it, all the magicians, mm -hmm. what are they so good with? Mm -hmm. Cards. Cards, yeah, yeah. And they're good with sleight of hand. They can shit disappear like out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. know what I mean? That's scary, bro. And you can take that and you can use it in anything, bro. Because imagine you're playing, let's say, so let's say you're playing chess, fam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're playing chess. Like, you know how fast they move? Yeah, yeah. And they, they hit the timer? <laughs> yeah. You can low key, like, switch something quick no 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 they, i think they do a thing where it's like the announcer announces where you put it so it's like d3 oh true no but look at uh you know in new york they have those those chess hu hustlers yeah yeah oh they do they have the chess hustlers and then all of those people they look sketch fam they yeah. look like they would cheat because <laughs> right. they're, they're there to steal your money when it comes to casino and that i'm all for cheating man like they're trying to take your money away so fuck it why not cheat? cheating bro in, they'll in, kill you fam in the casinos they kill did you know most casinos in las vegas are run by the mafia word you didn't know this no i didn't come on oh, bro shit. you have to know that i didn't know that stuff so do you ever watch the movie Casino or no? With no. Robert De Niro. No, no, no. So that whole movie was about the mob running the casinos. Yeah. And if they saw somebody was cheating or even winning too much, uh -huh. they would take them into the back, get the sledgehammer, put his hand down, but break all of his fingers. What the heck? Or even get the freaking the saw, mm -hmm. go crazy on your hand or something. But even just winning a lot, you'll even get banned. Did you know Dana White is actually is banned? banned? Yeah. <laughs> He's banned from like five casinos. One that's of the, you, some of the biggest casinos in Las Vegas. And he only plays like what? Blackjack? He only plays blackjack. Yeah, some shit like that. But blackjack, you can actually sit down and make like really good money. Yeah. But some people were saying he was like counting cards. You ever watch that movie 21? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know counting cards. In the yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's a real thing. Like you can actually do that to win. There's another. There's another um, K drama. You know, extracurricular. Nah, you should watch it because if if you watch Squid Game and Alice in Borderland, you'll like that one too. What's it about? So it's just about a, a kid that's in debt, right? Yeah, and he starts this whole drug, this whole drug movement by himself. He just sells drugs, sells drugs, and, and shit like that. Like online or like in person? No, like in person, and he like gets rich off that. Oh. You should watch it. It's fire. A lot of... I remember in high school, people were like, you're such a hustler. I'm surprised you didn't sell a drug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're... What would you say? You're blessed by the... Whole, <laughs> blessed by the Holy Trinity? Yeah, fam. No, but in my opinion, there's so many other ways you can make money. Like, you don't have to yeah, resort to that. To. You don't have to resort to that. You remember a religion teacher? <laughs> what religion teacher? Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's this moment in religion class. We were, she was talking... Oh, yeah. She was talking about, like, um, drug dealers Bro, and shit. Th this was such a diss. It was so weird. It like, was such a diss to you. I know. So she was saying, blah, 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 drug dealers. She looked at me. She looked at Carlos. And then everybody saw it, too. Yeah. And then we're like, what? <laughs> what are you talking? And then I called her out. I'm like, why are you looking at me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I called her out. And she got so nervous. Bro. She turned red. She, she turned red because she knew she was looking at me. She literally was on this side and you were on this side. Yeah. So it was, like, it was oh. weird. <laughs> It was just because I used to sell stick. Remember stickers? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then people would always meet me outside the portable. Yeah, yeah. So we had like a, a <laughs> class portable. We because our, our school's kind of small still. Yeah, yeah. So I would actually go outside. Someone would knock on the door. Oh, can I see Carlos mm -hmm. Rukuk? He's like, all right, go ahead, go ahead. So she would see me walk outside, bring my backpack, mm -hmm. and I sell them stickers. I'm not selling the drugs. I sell yeah, them the yeah, stickers. Stickers. But I guess, I guess, like what they're used to is that. Like, yeah. What else are the kids selling? You it, know, it, it's weird too. But like on movie that I also watched because you put me on a. Uh, what do you call this? I asked after you told me about Assassin. Yeah. Have you watched Wanted? I know you Wanted. Have. Yeah. Wanted, Wanted is, is so fire. Angelina Jolie. Yes, fire, bro. Fire. Oh my god, that whole 
whole shit where it's like you curve a bullet. Mm. Oh my god, that shit was fun. That's sick. It's so sick. Do you think there's real assassins in the world like that? Do you think there's like a whole? Yeah, kind there definitely is. You think there's a guild like that though? You know how they had that whole team where it's like you want to join us? Because I, I remember searching up like rules of assassins. Yeah. And there was like this rule of um, you only have one target. You have to kill it in a safe place. Boom, 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 all like that, and then you get your reward after. Mm. Okay, yo, going back, uh, going to the Bible, actually, I have a crazy theory for you. Okay. Nah, this is not even a theory. This is actually in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, do you ever, do you ever hear that that one scripture line? It talks about you should never wear uh, a mix of garments. So you should never wear a mix of cotton and linen. Have you heard of that? No, I haven't. So Jesus told us mm -hmm. never wear something made of cotton and linen. It has to be a hundred percent of one. Yeah. Right. You ever wonder why? That's such a weird thing to say, right? Yeah, no, I don't know why. So did you know our clothes actually affect our body frequency? And 100% cotton allows our frequency to flow through. But linen and cotton does not. Oh. So it, it, it cancels each other out. Yeah, yeah. And did you know that linen helps us heal faster? That's why in hospital beds, mm -hmm. all of the sheets are made out of linen. Oh. It, so it flows better no it, it actually heals your body faster oh, it heals it heals your body and so you're not supposed to mix both you're not supposed to mix both because it cancels it out and did you know polyester yeah polyester is actually really bad for our body no yeah it's actually really bad for our body it's hella soft it, though i know but it's linked it's linked to our frequency being stopped so i think polyester is a is a cap at five right yeah. the frequency of polyester is five okay and a dead body mm -hmm. frequency is five. What? Yeah. And a cotton, I think, is a hundred. Our body is naturally a hundred. And linen is like five thousand or something. Oh my god. So if you but if you wear cotton and linen together, you can, you it can. cancels out. Yeah. It cancels out. I think it, it becomes zero. But if you have a hundred percent cotton, you're blessed. Yeah. Hundred percent cotton or hundred percent linen is actually even better. That's yeah. why in ancient times, all of the kings, queens, the the rich uh -huh. they all wore linen oh, they didn't wear cotton they wore linen to heal it, it it was just better for your body and supposedly okay if you if you cut yourself right cut yeah. yourself on your right arm and then your left arm mm -hmm. if you wrap one in cotton wrap, wrap one, one in linen somehow the right arm will heal faster because it's wrapped in linen that's why i didn't know that it's weird right it's weird and that's in the bible bro that's such a because there's so many secrets in the bible that we don't really like that we just pass through we just pass through like well what does that even mean a lie right okay yo, back to the assassin story because i want to tell this story mm -hmm. there was um there was a guy in uh, switzerland i think a prime minister yeah george right so he attended like the seasonal carnival yeah right and all the people in that carnival we're dressed up. So you don't expect an assassin to dress up, right? Mm. So there's a guy in a bear costume. Like, he dressed up as a bear. <laughs> a bear? A bear costume. And he had an axe and took out the guy. <laughs> Funniest assassin story, fam. Imagine going out by a bear. <laughs> wait, wait. So he literally had the helmet, the hat. Yeah, yeah. Full down bear costume. Like Bobo the bear, fam. And he killed somebody and in a bear costume. In a, Did he get bear. away with it? Yeah, he got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> let the bear get away fam you know what, in my head you know what i thought of what? You remember midsummer the guy in the bear oh, no. <laughs> i don't know what it was just that picture just that yeah. shot of the guy's head mm -hmm. like in the bear thing you're like scared as fuck yeah. oh yeah when he was dying and he's like this. yo that shit was so funny to me i don't know why that, no that was looking sad bro because he's like he couldn't do anything no but it's just funny because like out of all things a bear fam they put him in a yeah, bear yeah i know <laughs> Any other animal fam could have done. They put him in a bear, bro. Oh, shit. But th there's another story about um assassination by toothpaste. Whoa. Yeah. So there's this That's guy. Fam, it's all it's all the prime ministers in someone. Yeah. So I think it was um prime minister in, of Congo, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then um the guy the guys there were planning to assassinate the guy, and he was like, okay, make sure you you give this toothpaste to the guy that they want to kill. Mm. And they're like, oh. the, and the guy didn't even want to do. It. He just threw it in the Congo River. Oh, she polluted the water, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man. This guy killed the, the crocodiles, bro. <laughs> no, nah, but what's crazy is you know um, you remember the interview? Which interview? No, the interview, the movie. Oh no, I don't with, with Seth Rogen. With Seth was, Rogen. Oh no, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. and they're trying to kill like Kim Jong Un. You know how they had that um, the invisible little thing they put on. They they're like, okay, this will kill him on a touch. Just make sure you don't get it on anything else. It was like a sticker or whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like a little like sticky note, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he got it like on his nose and shit. Yeah. Do you, did you know there's actual there's actual substances that will kill you like that? If it just touches you. Yeah. It, it will kill you. Yeah. If you breathe it in or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Th there was also another assassination where they injected something, a uh, poisonous thing in someone's left ear. Why the left ear? I don't know. It could have been anyone, but it, they chose the left ear. Oh, it, it was one of the ones where it's like it was easily available. So they're like, all right. <laughs> 
Dude, I think that's from Hamlet, bro. Is that from Hamlet? Yeah, because remember the king? The king, uh, he was like sleeping and then they poured the poison in his ear. No, it was the mouth that they poured it in. Oh, was it? Come on, man. You don't do your English No, it was the ear. It wasn't. It was the mouth. But he was sleeping, fam. How do you pour the poison in his mouth when he's sleeping? Unless it's you snoring and shit. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're getting poisoned, as, as soon as you open the mouth, you're dead, fam. It doesn't matter if they wake up, you're dead. <laughs> Like shit, I got it on me. Now the funniest shit was uh, you, you seen that video where they put like Jolly Ranchers or oh. <laughs> they put all the sour patch kids in his mouth. I don't, yo, people are such deep sleepers that I, I actually don't know how you. Are don't you wake a deep up. sleeper? No, like from an alarm. Actually, with my alarm, I am. I'm a very deep sleeper. No, I'm you are. I feel like okay, if I started stacking shit on your head, you would definitely wake up. Actually, yeah, <laughs> no, but in the sense of see, I don't know for sure. Yeah, because I'm not on the outside. I, I feel like you can't tell if you're a deep sleeper or not unless somebody's with you. I don't know. I don't know if someone woke me up or if it's just naturally. Yeah, right? my, my my friend had this like story that he told me where he was beside a person that had sleep paralysis oh yo i have a similar story okay, to you okay, yo, let, so let me hear it this is what happened so when he was beside him yeah and the guy told him his, his experience so he just told retold it to me mm -hmm. so what he saw was he couldn't move right that's the normal sleep paralysis yeah but he saw these shadow figures and it came through the door mm. and all he and it was like going around the room it sat right beside him it didn't have a face it was all black shadow yeah and it was just moving moving and how he got out from it he was telling himself it's not real. It's not real. Yeah. And my friend who's beside him is literally just watching all this place. Oh, he's like, shit. yo, yo, are you good? And he's like, it's not real. It's not real. Oh, and then and then like he slapped him or something and he just woke up. Damn, I heard I heard if you wake somebody up from sleep paralysis they could die. No, I know in the in because they might have a heart attack. In sleepwalking that you can't wake somebody up. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's the same for sleep paralysis, bro. No. Yeah, because they might have a heart attack if you if you scare them. Fuck. Okay, yo, what's your story? I want to hear it. So my cousin, right? Mm -hmm. He did. This is nothing to that level, but he would have sleep paralysis a lot. Yeah. And I used to sleep over at, like his house. Uh -huh. Out of nowhere, it would be two a.m. Mm -hmm. sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. All over here. <gasps> I'm like, what is that, right? Oh, and I just see his chest like rise to no. the rise to the freaking ceiling. That I'm like, what's going on, right? Because I turn my head like, what is going on, right? Yeah, yeah. But he's just having like sleep apnea, like sleep paralysis, and he couldn't move. He's like. <gasps> He gonna breathe. I'm like, yeah. you good? You good? You good? And he he just wakes up. He's like, yeah, I'm blessed. Don't worry. Like nothing happened. Yeah, oh my it's crazy. God. No, man. I I hate that shit because um people with symnophobia, I think it's what it's called. What's it's like What it's, is that? It's like a fear of going to sleep because you're you're oh. too scared of the nightmares or you're too scared of just dying. In Word, your sleep. Yeah, yeah. I had that recently. Okay, I was gonna say because Loki, you have some the phobia because you just don't like sleep, right? I, okay, that's that's in the sense of like I just don't want to go to sleep. But it's a type of anxiety, though. Is it? Yeah, it's a type of anxiety that you just don't want to go to fall asleep, bro. Word, because I do have anxiety. Yeah, so I'm like, um, okay, so have. recently, ever since we did the vlog, fam. No, <laughs> no, no. So this was like what? Two, this is only two days ago, though. Yeah, man, that's bad. <laughs> so take this in. Take this in. The night. The night back, oh, no. the night back, I was gonna go to sleep, right? Mm -hmm. I was trying to fall asleep. I was dead tired, trust me, because we walked like over over two yeah, kilometers. I was dead tired too. Bam! I was trying to sleep, and then I'll close my eyes, and all of a sudden, I'm in the tunnel. No, <laughs> I'm in the tunnel, bro. <laughs> no, listen, 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 listen. I'm in the tunnel, uh -huh. but it's like when I close my eyes and I open them, I'm back here. I close it in the tunnel. In the tunnel. But it's so quick. You know how when you go to sleep, yeah, it takes a bit to go into the to dream go state. Into, yeah, to go into the dream state. But for me, I was already there just with the eyes closed. What? Just close my eyes. I'm there. You're there. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to sleep yet. I don't want to mess with that shit. So what I did. Did, right i just said a prayer uh -huh. close my eyes again it was okay it was okay right okay, yeah, yeah. so time passed time passed i'm sleeping i wake up i go back to sleep boom same shit you're back in i'm back in the tunnel and then this time bro this time mm -hmm. remember we were seeing like ghosts and shit yeah yeah the blue do we still okay we're gonna put it on screen yeah we saw a white like white figures blue figures coming closer and closer yeah every coming time. closer and closer every time we <laughs> took a picture it moved closer to it's us so, bro this is some real shit, right? Yeah. So when I went to when I went back in my dream, mm -hmm. I started to see it, but clear. So right, what we saw, see, this is the thing though, because is it just my imagination playing with yeah, me, yeah. or am I transported in there? Oh yeah, it could be just you're thinking too much. Maybe I'm thinking too Cause, much. Because the number one thing that Carlos said when after we got out was like, nah, it's not haunted, bro. Mm -hmm. And usually the people that don't believe it always gets like something after. Yeah, but for me personally, I didn't feel in danger in danger even when i was having those dreams i didn't feel in danger i felt danger because i heard voices and as soon as you i hear something weird mm -hmm. i was like let's go but carlos like 
Let's light a candle. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Let's get out of here, bro. Okay, I did hear the voices, right? Yeah. But at the same time, like, I wasn't sure if it's the echo, what it is. So I didn't play too much in the into the let me feed into it yeah yeah i just want to have fun you know yeah, yeah, i want to yeah, have yeah. fun with it i wasn't having fun because <laughs> I, I was kind of i usually get scared for me yeah, i yeah. usually get scared i wasn't that scared that time word i, I was scared because like we went from the forest in the night to like extreme tunnel this might be haunted. Nah, honestly yeah going there especially yeah we should have what we should have done this is also a niagara mm. the screaming tunnel this is screaming tunnel yeah and if you so the the whole background of the story is a girl got raped in a tunnel yeah and then to hide her body she got burned mm. and she was screaming the whole time right so what they what if you go in the middle of the tunnel and you light a candle yeah. you can actually hear a scream if you light a candle like it's 80 percent uh, possibility that you will hear, hear no. a scream. Okay, we got to do but that, that one, one That tunnel that we went to, it's like, it could, like, people smoke there all the time. So it's like- I don't think people smoke there all the time, but if I, I, I cause look, if you look at it, mm -hmm. those candles, they were on the side. I know, yeah, yeah. And I, they were nailed. Yeah. They were nailed. No, fam, low key, I think that's a spot for cults and shit. Rituals? <laughs> Man. honestly yeah might be it yeah. might be even for sacrifices or whatever because yeah. that shit happens in real life like there's some real people that do sacrifices whether it be with rats or squirrels especially, animals especially in a tunnel that looks like that yeah I would yeah because it's a closed road you can't go in there mm -hmm. and that's that's literally like you gotta walk 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 yeah. that's why I would, the only thing i was really afraid of are we gonna see people that live there oh. that's what i was afraid of yeah like homeless people not even homeless people what if they live there for a reason too like you know those you know those witches Oh that live God. under the imagine, bridge. Imagine we seen the one just laying there. Mm. Million views. In uh, you know, Left for Dead. <laughs> oh yeah. You know the witch in the Left for Dead. That's one of my. Fuck. That's one of my biggest fears is seeing something like that. Fuck. Like a witch that actually can cast spells on you and then See, you disturb I her. Shit. I hate that shit. That's why I was like, I, when we went in there, I was like, I don't want to bring up any presence of any like ghost, mm. like by lighting a candle and shit. But I was really scared when we went home because yeah. after I drove everyone back, I had really low gas, mm. right? And I I'm going from Scarborough now to my place by myself <laughs> with low gas yeah and, and i felt weird as soon as i hit the turn into my drive like into my like uh complex mm. i was the the gas went down oh and, and then shit. i felt this weird like presence with me so i looked at the back of my my mirror and yeah. it was just no one was there but like i felt, you felt something, something. Oh. i felt something with, with me and as soon as i got out of my car i ran back into yeah. my place like i locked the car <laughs> I turned on all my lights and, and went to bed. Damn. But I said hella prayers before going. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like as long as you you leave it as is and yeah. you don't like scare yourself more, yeah, you'll yeah. be okay. Yeah. Because I think the moment you start to feed in, mm -hmm. shit, it's right there. Let me just talk to it. Let me speak yeah. to it. Something like that or try and like contact with it. Yeah. But, That's but, where you get played, fam. But speaking of your dream where you, you always just seen tunnels, mm -hmm. there's a cursed dream called called Backrooms. I think I heard of this. Have you heard of this? It was so, like... Yeah, so it's 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 like a... a the hallway? Yeah. So yeah. it's a different like type of reality that you're set in. Mm. And it's like yellow hallway, yellow tunnel, mm. right? It can go on for like centuries, bro. And if you're stuck there, you're stuck there forever. You can't escape the dream. I heard... the. People play a game with it, actually. So one, there, it takes two people. I seen this on TikTok before. Oh, shit. A girl would go into that state of that dream, yeah. And it's a, it's quote unquote a sleep paralysis state too, yeah, and yeah, she yeah. can't move, but she's conscious. Mm -hmm. So she would talk, and you would have somebody that's kind of like a guide to tell yeah. them where to go, right? Uh -huh. So they say if you go through, it's it's almost like astral projection. You can yeah. walk through the building, look around, <laughs> see what's in there. Yeah. But you got to be careful, why? Because there's a man there. And this man, supposedly, if he gets a hold of you, you could die in real life. No. Yeah. Yo, imagine you see the man and you start running. Mm -hmm. That would be the scariest shit ever. Because supposedly you're supposed to avoid that man. Yeah. That man in the dream. Because if he gets a hold of you, you're dead. I didn't even know that. Yeah. But but good thing, though, because I searched it up. I was like, since now I know about back rooms, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to be thinking about it. And I don't want to be set in there. I, I had a dream when I was a kid. Yeah. It was very similar to like this type of thing. Yeah. It was a hallway. <laughs> It was a hallway, but I had carpet and it almost looked like a hotel. Yeah. It was so eerie though, because it was like I walked through the television to get into this hallway. Oh. You know, you know the ring? Yeah. Take it, you just yeah, teleport? take this. I never seen the ring before and I never seen that scene before. Uh -huh. Like this was out of my own imagination. I walked into the TV. Okay. This is way before the ring and shit. Cause I'm like, I seen that later. I'm like, damn, that, that, that reminds me. Yeah, yeah, it reminds me of that. So I walked in and it was literally a hallway. Doors, carpet whatever and i had this really eerie feeling like 
you got to get out of here. Yeah. Like you got to go now. Right. Oh. So I, I try to wake myself up so quickly, but you mm. can't wake up so quickly, especially when you're like deep in sleep. And you know, those ones really trying to scream, but you can't scream. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's what that it was happening to me. Yeah. It was happening to me like, what I do, what I do. Right. I know, I know. So I think what I did was you have to relax mm -hmm. and then just like let it set in and wake up. Yeah, I know. Those, those sad, are, wake yeah. up. Those are the ones where it's like the guy's coming for you and you just give up and you're like, OK, I'm I'm gonna relax and yeah, hopefully yeah, yeah. I wake up. Mm -hmm. That's Actually. what you gotta do. Or you can just do what my uncle does and just give him the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in you. <laughs> Yo, did you know where the middle finger came from? No. Take that in. We use it like it's it's common knowledge, yeah, right? Yeah. We never really dive into what is the true meaning of the middle finger. Where did it come from? Yeah, a, a superstition when I was a kid, because uh, the middle finger is really bad when you're a kid, right? Yeah, it's still bad like as you're an adult, but you can't stick it up down below. Or else you're going to hell. That was my wait. So, why? I don't know. So whenever someone stuck stuck it up to me, they're like, yeah. ha -ha, and they put the middle fingers down to the ground. Where? Yeah. So there's a theory that the middle finger, the yeah. origins of it, was actually through this emperor. So this emperor of Rome. I forgot his name. It starts yeah. with the O. Okay. But he would give that middle symbol. Finger? He would give the middle finger to the peasants or everybody around him. Yeah. His um his servants mm -hmm. as a way of kiss the ring but oh, Loki heard this. yeah so kiss the ring mm -hmm. but it was kind of a it was kind of like a sexual sense too where it's yeah. like kiss my oh kiss so my. every every time every time you give the middle finger yeah man am i holding up so much I know. every time every time you give the middle finger it's uh, like kiss my oh, my okay. d you know word yeah i mean that that's what it stands for like if you stick up the middle finger you're gonna loki that's what it is yeah uh, yo stop sticking <laughs> <laughs> like i get it fam. i'm throwing it up bro no, but before too, I never wanted to stick up the middle finger. So I remember in, in Asia, this is their That's not true, and man. I swear it is. That's not but, true. But th that's what they did. That's what they did. That's what they used to say in elementary school. I yeah. don't believe that, bro. <laughs> this is bullshit. We have to look that up if it's actually like true. I don't think it's true. One of the biggest ones was, um, what is it? What is it? <laughs> the freaking, you know, the snake shit? What? The snake shit? No. What, what the f*** is that? Oh, you don't know how to make this? No. Oh, so you go like this, like this, like this. <laughs> And turn to a okay, snake. Yeah, He's a snake head. <laughs> oh, that's fire though. Yeah. So if you get if you get bit by this, you're gonna have bad luck. So if I if I hit whoa, you like that, you have bad luck. Word? Yeah, because apparently it takes all your chakra points in your hand, puts it in a in a sense, and becomes a snake. So if I bite you with it, yeah, it curses you. What the heck? <laughs> nah, bro. Why do you know all this weird stuff, bro? <laughs> Speaking of weird animals, you know that about the chiduru? What is the chiduru? What is <laughs> so like that okay. sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> 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 it does. It does. So bag this. If you're in the Amazon River, right? Yeah. And you start urinating. In what region? <laughs> <laughs> chill, 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 chill. So if you're in the Amazon River, yeah. And you start urinating in the water, there's a small fish that'll go up oh, your dick. Oh, I heard about this. Your urethra and just uh, the pain is I, I don't even want to imagine the pain, but it's like a, a worm like two to three centimeters long. Yeah, I heard about and this. And it goes up your 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 dick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it swims up the stream. It swims up the stream. Bro. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty you know the bot flies? Oh I I had I did reach it. Yo, I think they oh were on my the same God, on man. the same iceberg. No, 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 I knew about this long time ago because I remember I used to watch these videos before yeah. pimple popping videos are big. Yeah. They're bot fly videos. Bot flies are crazy. Bruh. Especially the ones in the cat's nose. Have you seen <laughs> oh those? Oh my god, I watched Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, it's huge. It's like the size yeah. of like my thumb. Bigger. Yeah. In I a know. cat's nose, and the cat's nose is like super small. Pull yeah. that shit out. Oh. I don't even like. I don't even like those um those videos where it's like a dog, and then like they take the those were those larvae or oh, oh um, parasites, parasites, maggots, yeah, the maggots, the maggots and it, the dog like squeals and they take it out. Oh, that's sad, that man. Even so the lice good. too. Yeah, the lice is scary. Have you ever had lice? Never. Never yeah, had. Thank God lice. I have never had lice. Because I think it's just the people that didn't shower, fam. Yeah, I know. <laughs> honestly, that's what it is. If you really? Don't, if you don't shower, you can get lice. Yeah. Because once once the announcement that one kid at lice goes on in school, they'll they'll send everyone. That's lock home. off. It's lock yeah, off. It's lock yeah, off. yeah. Even a uh, pink eye, bro. I remember one day in high school, everybody <laughs> got pink eye. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah. I had pink eye because I think my friend farted on a pillow and like he gave it to me through the pillow. Yeah, because my eye the next day was like red like I, like super like red yeah yeah and yeah puffy and like shit was coming out of it oh my it was so ew. disgusting fam ew. it was so like it was like my you got eye the yellow film yeah, on it my, my, my eyelashes were glued shut that's disgusting i know that's nasty <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say something really dirty I'm no, not just go it. just go well, <laughs> what what do, do you ever <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, I'm not gonna just say. Go, it. Just I'm gonna go, embarrass dude. myself. No, nah, let's go. I'll embarrass myself after. Did you ever? Did you ever like try a booger fam? <laughs> oh yeah, bro. I I think every I think kid, everybody kid every has kid tried has a booger fam at least once in their life. Yeah, right? 
No, because fam, you know those ones where you do a hard sniff and then it comes out your mouth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like everyone's tried a booger, fam. <laughs> no, nah, cause I remember e- <laughs> okay. I was I was really I was really like freaking interested. Fam. No, yeah. I was like very curious. Yeah. Very curious as a kid. Like yeah. I tried a booger. I wonder what, what my ear wax tastes like. Ear wax is crazy. Bro. Ear wax is crazy. Bro, but th- this was like I was I was young, fam. Like, okay, yeah. You know what I mean, understandable. I was, yeah, understandable. Yeah, yeah. So some kids eat rocks. Yeah, you know, yeah. some kids <laughs> eat rocks. Ear wax is nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. Kid, yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna try it, right? Dog, that shit tastes like plastic, man. Yeah, that shit tastes like plastic. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder, I wonder what the film on your eye tastes like, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, bro, that's disgusting, bro. I have this crazy story where, where we were at a sleepover yeah. and we were like, we we're like what? eight or seven and mm. then my friend had a cat right yeah and then <laughs> we dared him to eat like the cat litter ew and so so he, <laughs> he literally closed his eyes i was like yo why are you closing your eyes you just close your mouth your nose and yeah, yeah yeah he's like i don't want to see what's going in my mouth so he picked it up and in that piece of cat litter was cat shit ew and then, but no none of us were like yo, yo. no <laughs> and he was like three two one and then nah, <laughs> that's rude fam. that's rude Holy shit, you're a demon for that. No, that was not me. That you're was my evil. friend. You're evil for not saying nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were like, yo, I think there's shit in it. And then he just threw up. Ew. He threw up like his pizza and shit like that. Okay, what's the nastiest thing you ever ate? Nasty Or nastiest shit. thing you ever done? I don't think I t- told this story, but fam, I was, the, the day before, yeah. I was eating um Flaming Hot Cheetos, right? Mm-hmm. And I went to bed, woke up, took, you know, the, the morning shit, right? Yeah. I took a morning shit, fam, and I looked at my shit in the bowl. It was red. Oh, the, shit. For, my first thing was like, am I dying? I, I typed this in. Oh, because of blood. Yeah, if your poop is red, are you, am I dying? And it was like, oh, it's probably just like um, die from the chips. And I, yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. so thankful because I was I was sweating, fam. Word. I, was sweating, I was like, yo, I'm, am I dying? No, nah, that happens when you eat shawarma too, bro. Word? If you eat shawarma and you know the, the I think it's the pickle or oh, the radish. The, the radish? The radish, the, 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 yeah. the red one. Yeah. Whenever you eat that, it dies your, your, it dies your even your pee too turns red okay i've never i've never had uh anything with like pee mm. but i've heard people that had like green pee yeah if you drink like too much mountain dew or some shit right oh that's a thing i think so i'm pretty no but it makes sense Why? it makes sense if, if you drink something even like gatorade but if you drink something neon enough eventually no because your body is naturally a filter so it'll just filter no it but into- the, the color sometimes it doesn't go through oh it doesn't go through yeah yo did you know gatorade is actually really really bad for you yeah bro there's a bunch of sugar in it no even the acidity in it oh, so right. they they took they took a test right yeah. they put gatorade into uh-huh. a, like a ph test yeah the whole shit it was acidic Oh, so wow. they tested the water. You know how like the sunny water is acidic too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they try to fix it with uh, alkalized water. That's oh. a way you can di- dilute it. Dilute it, yeah. They put it in the, the Dasani water, fixes the Dasani. Put it in the Gatorade, uh-huh. irreversible. So that's going in your body, in your body, irreversible. But you need those electrolytes though. No, but you can get electrolytes from coconut water, fam. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of coconut. I hate coconut. Nah, I love yeah. coconut. That's I don't my like shit. coconut. That's I, don't, my I, don't, shit. I don't know why people like freaking coconut cookies and shit like that. Like what? what? You don't? Like, coconut's disgusting, nah, bro. Nah, it's fire. It's fire. Nah, you- it, maybe it's acquired taste. Though. I don't <laughs> know. A, yeah, it's an acquired. I taste. love it though. I love it. Yeah. Do you like um? Do you like red bean? Because that's a huge Asian thing. Okay. I don't. I don't even like it that much. I have a love. I have a love and hate with red. It depends bean. what it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's the dim sum one, it's fire. Fire, but if it's like um just red bean the candy itself? or yes, whatever, bro. you can never trash. Like even like even those guava candies, I I learned to to like it because before the sh- the taste. You was, didn't like the guava candy? No, those are fire. They were so strong. It was too strong for me. When? Like the, your whole day, you would smell like guava when you burp. <laughs> Like, you know those ones? Yeah. Like, if you get Captain Boil, and then, like, that taste is in your mouth for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you burp and shit. Nah, the the best, I don't know if you had these. It's kind of like a, a popsicle. Yeah. No, it's not a popsicle. It's like a freezy. It's the Asian freezies in a cylinder tube. Oh, yeah. You ever had those? I, I don't like those, though. Oh, those are fire. The, the freezies are way better because they, they have better That's artificial. so sweet, though. That's I know, super I, sweet. I'm a sweet tooth guy, man. Oh, true. I'm a sweet tooth. Nah, there's something about the Asian one, though. Like, it's just, like, nostalgic to me. Because... Yeah. I remember having it. It's like, you don't you don't get that anywhere else. Because you know how freezies taste like slushies? Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. But the Asian snacks, there's like nothing that can can compare. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like the Asian sugar is a different sugar. <laughs> the Asian sugar? It is, right? No. I like like the, the Pocky flavoring does not taste like regular 
cookie flavoring or whatever snack flavoring. I know the mayo is different. Have you tried the the Japanese mayo? Oh yeah, that's way different. The chem, the I, I, chemware or something. I forgot what but, it's called. But they they in regular mayo they take the full egg yeah. to make it, but in the the Japanese one they only take the yolk. Oh, so that's why it's that's why it's yellow. Oh, true. Yeah, I didn't know that. No, but Japanese mayo is the best. Mm -hmm. I eat all my sushi with spicy mayo. Maybe that's. Maybe I'm, I'm not supposed to do that, but like it yeah. tastes good with that. Shit. I don't know. There's been some things on TikTok where it's like, oh, this is how the proper way to eat sushi. Nobody cares. <laughs> like nobody cares. It's just like as long as you're eating it, fam. Yeah. Just eat it. Nobody really cares. There's there's no there's some etiquette if it if it has to do with manners. Yeah, that's different. If you're going to Japan and eating sushi, probably you should learn about the manners. Yeah. There's there's manners, but. If you're just enjoying your enjoy. meal, enjoy how you want to enjoy it. Yeah, feel I mean, me? With your hands, bro, I could not care less. Exactly. <laughs> I remember my driving teacher told me too. Yeah. Right? Because when, when I first started driving or started learning, because I did driving lessons, yeah. he's like, okay, uh, what's it called? 10 and 3? Yeah, 10 and 3. 10, 10 and 3? Yeah. So keep it here. That's how you drive. That's how you're supposed to drive during the test or whatever. Yeah. He's like, wait, yo, once you get your license, don't drive like that. He said straight up, don't drive like that. I'm like, wait, why? Because if you if you drive like this the whole time, mm -hmm. you're going to get tired and you're going to be a worse driver. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're like this the whole time, very uncomfortable, you're going to be very stiff. You're yeah. going to grip the wheel hard, blah, blah, blah. He's like, yo, if you want, use your foot. Use your knee. What? Yeah. He's like, use a one pinky. Like, whatever is comfortable to you, yeah. drive how you want it. Yeah, no, Loki, as soon as the test is over... I never drive like this. Mm. Like I drive like this. Yeah, because yeah. It's easier, and my, my hands are resting all the time. Mm. Like, I drive. I drive like this. The the hand like this. Oh, the, the, you, you just think you're in a '90s movie a lot. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no but it's easy. Ride. It's easy because I, I think my, my left hand gets my left arm gets tired because the other one's just like this. Yeah, I don't know. It's just boring. Yeah, but plus, plus I feel cool. Yeah, I guess that that's cap because you don't even drive. You just Uber. No, not anymore. <laughs> I don't drive no more. Yeah. No, but some things I just do to look cool too, fam. Like, like honestly, what? sometimes you just gotta look cool. Yeah. I remember when I was in grade two. I used to always just like there's there's something about lean back. I don't I don't know what it was. I think <laughs> all the movies I ever watched, something yeah. about the kid that leans back like this is just cool. it's cooler. Yeah, I, I knew that too. But imagine me doing the podcast like this. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, you know I, mean? I remember I did a podcast with my friend, but the, no, I felt cool. Like the whole time I was lean back. But I feel like I'll be boring if I'm like this. I know. That's why I'm like, sometimes when I'm like this, I, I feel the most comfortable, but we can't with this one because we have to be a hella energetic. Yeah. I'm, I'm comfortable like this too, though, because I, I like I like being right in the game, you know? Being yeah. right in the game. <laughs> the theories. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because my blood flow, because I think that's what it is. Yeah. If you're like this. You're more, you're way more relaxed. You're more relaxed because your blood isn't like going to your head. Mm -hmm. But I'm going here, I'm leaning forward. Yeah. My blood's rushing here. I know. Did you know 90% of communication is through your body yeah Did you know that it's all body language bro it's body language fam. it's all body language it doesn't matter what you say it's how you say it and yeah. how you look saying it because like again like i think you said this before but if you says like well i'm happy today but you're frowning like what <laughs> you're, yeah. you're giving off mixed emotions mm -hmm. even even just walking around in the street like mm -hmm. did you know some criminals yeah they'll scout you out by the way you walk word mm -hmm. So if you walk a certain way, let's say you got your head down or like yeah, yeah. you look very weak, have a limp in your leg, mm -hmm. they'll look at you as opportunity. Yeah. They'll look at you as a target. So whenever you're walking, you got to chest yeah. up, shoulders back, yeah. head high. You look confident too. That's why every every time in a tournament, fam, I was scared of this one guy even before we fought. Yeah. Because the way he was moving around and just carrying himself, mm -hmm. he was like the man. I'm like, this is definitely the guy to beat. <laughs> His first fight? Yeah. Such a bad fighter. He's not even good. <laughs> He's not even good, but everyone, I, f I swear, was afraid of him. Like, we didn't want to match up with him first. Yeah, round. yeah. He got his ass kicked. Fam. But you can do the reverse too. You can, like, hide it. Oh, yeah. Loki, I, I, I like that that story better. Because mm. it's like, you think I'm, I'm trash, but let me let me kick your ass real quick. But yeah, you, you just pretend you're weak. And then, like, mm -hmm. when you're ready, boom, yeah. bro, he surprised them. I know. And I remember in the movie, uh, Usual Sus. Oh, that's a spoiler. Just no, I, I remember some people, they even, when they're walking around, criminals and shit, mm -hmm. they'll look weak. They'll put a limp in their leg so that people underestimate them. But it's like a fake limp. Yeah, it's a fake limp. <laughs> I remember this, The you seen the homeless person who, who uh, walked around with like a crutch in her back and like her back was really hurting. Nah. But, but then a news reporter came up to her because she's seen her walk to her car after standing up normally walking. And, Where? and then the news reporter was so petty. She's like, Oh, how's your back? And she's like, oh, it's good. It's like, we saw you though. And then she ran away. <laughs> oh, she was like somebody begging for money. Yeah, she was begging for money. Bro, I hear stories all the time how um, there's people that just like wait there, mm -hmm. get money and then drive away in their Lambo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Not but, Lambo, but like BMW. Yeah, but at the same time, it's like, if you have a BMW, why would you just be out the streets for that long and do that work? What if, what if that's, I Are feel you, like there has to be somebody in the world that they really... 
became a pro at it. A pro? Shit. And that's your deal. But that's that's such hard work. You're standing for seven, eight hours. Okay, but what if, right? Because you know how there's quote unquote pro criminals. Yeah. What if there's pro beggars or pro people that play with your emotions to get money from you, right? You know, um, if you're ever in those like booths in like um the Philippines and some shit, they make you think that you're your friend. Yeah. Oh, trust me, trust me. This Louis Vuitton is really good, really good. And you'll just buy it, fam. <laughs> I feel like they're really pros at talking though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. And then negotiation skills, oh my God. They're fire. They're I don't fire. know if you watch the, the bald guy and he always goes into like these Asian markets. Oh, in the the... The fake whatever the, the market, fake, yeah. 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 And he always negotiates, but he can never outbid. Like he'll out negotiate some, but others, yeah. They're strict, fam. They, they do that for a living. Yeah, that's the whole. That's the whole thing. Like you got to be good at negotiation. And that's one thing I want to really get good at negotiating. You're not good at it yet. I'm not. I'm not. I'll be. I'll be like, I. Right, I'll just take it, fam. Any Kijiji meat? I wreck that man. Holy wreck shit! That? I wreck it. I like, it. <laughs> bro, I remember I bought this. Shout out to the guy that sold me this uh, airsoft gun before. Yeah, yeah. It was he was selling it for like one twenty. Mm-hmm. I pull up right, <laughs> and you look mad disappointed, huh? Yeah. I told you if you want to get a good deal on something, mm-hmm. when you see the product, be very disappointed and be yeah. very straightforward. Yeah. But you have to sell it. You have to really sell it. I look mad disappointed. Oh, what the fuck is it? I have to pretend like that, right? And then I look at it. I'm like, okay, bro. I'll tell you what. I'll give you forty for it. That's he's like low ball. Yeah, I load ball the shit out of it. I'm just like, ah, uh, uh, okay. I can I can do fifty. Wow, okay, bet. And you already won. Deal. You already won. Gone. That's crazy. Gone, man. No, because I, I can lowball. No, even lowballing online, because mm-hmm. I'm such a nice person that I don't want to lowball. That's the thing. I have to get meaner. That's why. No, it's but like, that that's how you get a good price. Yeah. You only you're only gonna get a good price like that. I know, and that's why. I f- it, in person, I don't think I, I could. I don't think I've ever lowballed in person. I'm like, mm-hmm. right, give me a price and I'll pay for it, bro. You know, I had this really sick tactic I was gonna do. What? Whenever I wanted to like buy something off Kijiji, of mm-hmm. I would post another post of something similar to it at a lower price. That's smart. And then show them that post. There's this. There's this kind of politics going around in like you know the vintage game. Yeah. And a person, you know those Nike mid checks. Yeah, yeah. They they go for crazy amounts, right? I know. But there's vendors that'll put put a fake auction. And buy it, and then keep keep increasing the price, increasing the price. So they're right. manipulating the market. That's just I, I don't want to get into any beef of the the vintage because I'm close with some people. Yeah, but like I heard some people do that. Even so, you can do that on grill too. You, yeah, you can find a way to just yo actually can, um round two. Oh shit! You know round two. You know that polo it's like a polo astronaut jacket oh the montclair no 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 it's polo it's polo, polo? it's a vintage polo jacket it's okay. like it looks like an astronaut jacket mm-hmm. yeah they bought every single one available no. so they had every single one whether it was in miami yeah. whether it was in new york whether it was collection. in la right yeah they bought every single one available now since they have everything available mm-hmm. they can set the price at whatever they want yeah you know what i mean because there's no other people with it if I have the market, yeah, I can make the market what you I want it to be. You can make the market. Market ma- manipulation, fam. Mm-hmm. That's why it's like, fuck. We can, even with any item we put up, like say we put this Hulk statue yeah. and we just keep manipulating people, this could go for like, what, 10K? <laughs> if we really like devote that's why, it to that's it. Why, um, that's why Supreme yeah. and Babe, it's all just marketing, man. I know. Like, I don't, I don't even fall into that anymore because I, <laughs> I know the truth now. I know the truth. <laughs> I'll still buy Supreme. But one of the biggest, another big scam that I looked at yeah. was a taxi scam. You know about this? The broken meter? Nah, I never heard about so that. So there's, in some countries, a taxi, if you get in a taxi yeah. and there you're driving, you're driving, at the end, when they drop you off, they'll be like, oh shit, my meter is broken, but brother. And then he'll be like, okay, this cost 150 Oh, And even though the ride was like yeah. five meters and only $5, he was like, no, like my meter's broken. You have to pay me. Oh, wow. No, nah, if, if I were him, like you didn't run the meter. That's your problem. That's, that's your, your fault. I'm and out. It's a free. It's a yeah, free. exactly. But you know, they, they can chase you down and kill you, fam. You never know. Bro, that's the, yeah. If, if you're in a different country, you never yeah. know what goes I, on, man. And there's another funny, the funniest video, fam, where a guy purposely p- was riding around in the village. Yeah. And he put his phone out. Oh, I saw that. Out the window. I saw and that. there was guys like this. It was a fake they, phone, too. Yeah, yeah, it was a fake <laughs> phone. And they tried to grab it. And once they tried to grab it, the guy would pull it back. Yeah. And then he would have, have him on camera. That's like, the, that's like the bike one. Yeah. <laughs> you know the bike one? They set it up on like a tripwire. Yeah. So the, the robbers <laughs> will take the bike, bike away, and the bike would flip. Because it's attached to like a tree or some shit. <laughs> That's instant karma, bro. Instant karma. Yeah. Instant karma. Do you think karma is real? Yes. You think it's 100% real? I f- yes. I believe in karma. I believe in fate. All that. But do you... Okay. 
So if karma's real, why do you think there's some bad people that get away with really evil shit? They'll get away, but I feel like sooner time comes, they'll like die. Everybody dies though. I know, but maybe they'll, they'll die earlier. That's That was their karma. But there's some people that do really evil shit and live a long life. Like look at the Rockefellers, I guess. Mm -hmm. Look at Martin Shkreli. Oh, well, Martin Shkreli's in jail, I think. But okay, take like um Ray Lewis. Yeah. He killed He killed someone. Boom. Uh, he had his... Uh, Football career ruin, mm. or or you take um another football player, Mike Vick. Yeah. Did you, do you know what Mike Vick did? What did he do? He he threw a dog fighting cage, and fifty dogs were involved, and he just he was like, okay, fight each other, oh, and all the he, dogs died. He ran a ring. Yeah, he ran a ring. Oh shit! And look what happened to Mike Vick. He was a superstar. He got away for it from a bit, but then he got caught later up. You but, know they do that in the Philippines too. Yeah, like, with, oh, chickens. with chickens. With chickens. Yeah, with yeah. chickens. Yeah. Well, I guess chickens, nobody really cares about chickens that much because you don't have them in the house like a pet. I mean, shit, it's still an animal and it's like a thing, but we don't, we don't support any of that. You feel me? Yeah, facts. You know what would be dope though? What? I want to see like robot fights. I, You know those Is old- the, Yeah, the robot fighting one? Yeah, no, but you know the, the ones they used to do long time ago in the kit? Do they still have those? The robot sumo, whatever. No, they don't. Like with the chopper and shit. Oh, and then like no, the fire and the don't, flames. Don't, don't, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. That was my favorite show back then. Mm. But I, I want to see- Robots, because you know how the, the mind control shit is coming? Yeah. The creators have a robot and they just control it with their mind. Word. Because there, there's a thing that I was saying earlier in the podcast, like yeah. we start. Next Mind had something with a VR thing where you can strap at the back of your head, mm. right? And you're inserted into a game, right? And yeah. how to calibrate it. There's three circles and, and you think really hard and that circle will light up. Oh, I heard of this. Yeah, that's real. That's a real thing yeah, coming yeah. out. And I was like, once, once it becomes that, maybe we'll have self-driving cars. Like mm. with the mind though. Because mm -hmm. I think, yeah, that that's that's actual thing. Even uh, Elon Musk is working on Neuralink. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah. same shit. You're moving I shit know. with your mind. I know. But what's dope, I really want to see this. I really want to see this. Somebody's going to take this idea because it's amazing. Ready? <laughs> Million dollar idea, somebody take it. Ready? Okay, okay. They should make a VR game or virtual reality game mm -hmm. where it would project onto a screen of two fighters, right? Okay. So whatever moves I make in real life would show on the screen. But people will watch what's going on on the screen and it could be like a fight to the death with swords, katanas, oh. with weapons. And it would actually show like them getting hurt. Oh, I think that is a thing though. Is that a thing? Yeah, I, think I don't that think is so. I don't think that's a thing. Because imagine we're watching John Jones versus Conor McGregor with swords. Oh, like actually like like characters. Yeah. Okay. But no. imagine realistic though, like highest quality definition where it looks like real life because they can do that now. Okay, yeah, that that low key that's so That would be cause, amazing. Cuz right now, like the fight scene, like people people want to see action. Exactly. And low key like the fight there's nothing going on right now. Exactly. Cuz all the fights are boring though. They get submitted or they're like um what do you call this? It's a boring ass fight. Mm. So imagine like real life gladiator rings but in virtual reality where nobody gets hurt. Well, we can see the damage. Yeah. That'd be oh. crazy. You can, you can host your own. Yo, you can host your own event. Exactly. Imagine being like, yo, come to the bar where we're hosting John Jones McGregor. Exactly. Or, or Khabib uh, McGregor. Yeah. Part two. Oh, you know how much <laughs> income that would be? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Because it will, it will take an aspect of actual athleticism yeah. and games too because yeah. you need to be good at seeing the mechanics of it. Because they do that with 2K already. You know what I mean? They do that with 2K where they get the whole kind of movements and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. So it wouldn't be too far-fetched. Like you can actually do that. Yeah, because with UFC, like the main concern is, is health. Mm -hmm. And if you want to take the health aspect away, just do that. Yeah. Somebody better take that because yes. that's like a really good idea. I'm telling you, I have bare ideas. If, yeah. if, if I gave them out, everybody would know them, <laughs> man. <laughs> That notebook, yo, if you ever, if I ever get desperate of money, I'm stealing that notebook, fam. It's all here, though. It's all here, too, though. You know that, the, like, uh, what do you call this? There was a movie where it was like, they found a book and they said, oh, no, admit some more. Yeah. But the guy got killed by reading the, the book. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. That would be me. I would just read it. And I see Carlos. <laughs> I turn my head behind him. Boom. Yo, what are you doing? She goes black. Like, and... <laughs> all right you want to end it there yeah we'll end it there brother all right okay thank you everyone for watching this episode of the jumpers jump podcast um if you guys haven't already check out the vlogs yes sir check out the links in the bio follow us on instagram all that good stuff yes sir all right jumpers jump out deuces